Good morning, my dear students. So today we are going to learn about the remaining portions from the lesson. A little effort, a lot of work. So look at these two pictures, children. What are the ladies doing? Yes, they are drawing water from the well. But which work do you think is easier? Carrying the water, that is drawing the water with the help of hand or with the help of pulley. Which do you think is the easier? Which makes our work easier? Exactly. It's the first picture. Here, the lady in the first picture is drawing the water with the help of pulley. We already learned that pulleys are the symbol machines which is helping to lift the water from the well. So she can, she don't have to bend down. She can just uh, keep the, that is she can just hold the one side of the uh, rope and pull it. So the pulley will help her to lift the water from the well. In the second case, you can see that the lady has to bend down to draw the water from the well. And she is, the direction of the force is, the direction of force is straight. She has to take a lot of effort to pull the water from the well. So, pulley makes easier to draw the water. So, what are the uses of pulley? Pulley helps to lift the heavy objects from the lower surface of the places. From lower places, it helps to lift heavy objects, especially this is used in construction work, sites and all. It helps to draw water from the well and also to lift the vehicles which has been gone into the deep valleys and or accidentally if it has gone into the deep valleys pulleys help them to lift the vehicles so these are the advantages of or uses of pulley next we are going to learn about wheel and axle you all know that the invention of wheels had made our transportation easier, right? In olden days and all, people used to walk from one place to another. But after the invention of wheels, the transportation became easier. So you can see the picture of a wheelbarrow or otherwise it is known as handicraft. This is used to pick, as I told you, pick the waste materials and dispose it to the shop, uh, smaller places. So the wheels, the wheels help these devices to roll. And here what is the speciality of this device is that there is no fuel for this device. Here it completely works on the human force. So wheel helps the device to roll and there is an axle which is connected to two wheels so it makes the wheel and the job of the person easier so that the wheelbarrow will move forward so axle is another type of a simple machine now children next one is inclined plane See, this is how the inclined plane is. You might have seen that the workers loading the woods into the lorry. They will keep the big woods in an inclined plane as you can see from the picture. And they will roll the uh, woods logs 
lots of wood through this inclined plane into the lorry. Instead of carrying it and taking into the lorry, they will do. They will just roll the woods uh, in this inclined plane into the lorry, so that it makes their work easier. And this is the picture of wedge. It is a simple device which is used to cut or break the wooden materials. This has two surface inclined planes. The two surface of it, you can see from the picture children, the two surface of it is having inclined plane. So it helps us to cut the wooden materials. But all edges are not the same. There are some edges which is used to tighten the wooden frame. And that edges is having only one inclined plane. Where we used to cut the wooden, it has two inclined planes. Similarly, for screw. You, if you notice the screw, you can see that the tip, the end of the screw is having an inclined plane, inclined surface. So that it easily gets pushed into the wooden materials. So this is about inclined planes. And you might have seen the ramp. What is ramp? See, see from the picture. Yes, this is a slope which is kept in front of the building. And this ramp, that is called ramp. This ramp is very useful for physically challenged students, those who cannot walk. See how this boy is going to enter into the government UP school. If it was a step, it will be very difficult for him to go in a wheelchair. So ramp helps the students or physically challenged ones. So that he can easily take his wheelchair, slope the wheelchair through the ramp and enter into the school. So ramp is very essential one. It is also a simple machine, a small simple machine which makes the job easier. So this is about today's topic. Hope you have understood it. So let us assess. We will discuss in our class discussion time. So go through it and be ready for the discussion. Thank you.